this is not an easy contribution to make. Um, I feel the loss of Emmanuel Fari very vividly. He was um, a very good friend. He was a colleague, a co-author, and the personal loss is tremendous. But today I want to talk about Emmanuel as uh, the economist and what he has brought to our profession. I mean, I think of him as a young prince of uh, our discipline. He um, made a tremendous number of contributions that are very important in many different areas. And in many ways, he reminds me of other um, extremely talented people who have lost us uh, too early. And I can think of uh, people like uh, Arthur Rimbaud, a French poet, or Nicolas de Stal, a uh, very famous painter, or Modigliani, who also disappeared too early, or perhaps closer to our field in economics, Frank Ramsey, an um, extremely talented uh, mathematical economist who um, died very young. And Emmanuel, like them, I think, was able to bring a tremendous amount to all of us uh, through his work, through his exchanges, and the loss is that much more painful to bear. Now, we all were very impressed by his brilliance. I think many of us can remember vividly the first time they met Emmanuel. I, I was visiting, I was uh, giving a paper at MIT and uh, Ricardo Caballero, my thesis advisor, asked me to come and meet him in his office and he wanted me to be introduced to his uh, very bright student he had and uh, they wanted to sort of uh, pitch me some ideas they had about this little topic called global imbalances. And that's how I met Emmanuel. And, and immediately you you had to be struck by how quick, how smart he was and how quickly he could, uh, he could you know, figure out what needed to be done and how to do it. And I think we all experienced that. He was also extremely engaging um, with students, but also with colleagues and co-authors. And here, um, I would like to share a little story. In August of 2019, um, he and I and a few others went to a conference in Cusco. It's a fantastic place for a conference. We were all excited and we decided to go and spend a couple of days and, uh, and go hiking and visit Machu Picchu. And uh, the day before we did that, um, he and a few others, we went and visited one of the beautiful archaeological sites in uh, near Cusco called Saxa Women. It's a impressive archaeological site built by the Incas with this enormous blocks of stone that are adjusted in, into these massive walls without any cement or uh, uh, any filling and they fit perfectly and it's huge blocks of stone and it goes on and on. It's a massive site. It's fantastic. And what I remember very vividly is we were there, it was beautiful. The end of the afternoon, the light was gorgeous. We were in awe. And for about maybe 10, 15 minutes of our visit there, Emmanuel was on the phone with a, a co-author in the US and was debating the fine points of how to prepare the slides for a presentation that his co-author was going to give on the joint paper. And I was absolutely struck by that, by the fact that he would be in this place. And at the same time, and he would take in all the sites and he was, he was really appreciating it, but he could also still be engaged, you know, with his co-author uh, half a world away. Now, Emmanuel had the, uh, an approach to research, which I respected very much. He was, uh, he was a problem solver. He would look at issues that needed uh, to be addressed where uh, a certain amount of uh, analytical powers could help make progress. And he would apply his fantastic mind to them. And often he would, uh, he would crack them. Um, he let me list a few of the areas in what I know, which is international microeconomics, which is only a small part of what Emmanuel has done, where he has made an enormous contribution. First, he's worked on fiscal devaluations. Um, he's worked on sovereign debt also. He's worked on the international monetary system. He's worked on exchange rates. 
and he's worked on macroprudential policies in addition to global imbalances. Each of these topics is, is a massive topic with uh, very important contributions. And in each of these areas, I think Emmanuel made a difference. And so I want to celebrate the, vast, um, the vastness of his contributions to uh, international macroeconomics, as I'm sure others will do the same for other areas he's, he's contributed to.